Most development economics, especially at low levels of per capita income, is about agriculture. In poor countries, agriculture simply is most of the economy, and for most of the last 12,000 years, agriculture has been the most important economic sector in all regions of the world, until, of course, recent industrialization. The advent of cheap, readily available food is one of the greatest advances in human history. It has meant that human beings can turn their attentions and energies away from simply finding something to eat, to building more important tools, or to creating more art and music, or to spending more time with other people, or whatever it is they want to do. Cheap food has enabled all of this. It's common consensus that increases in agricultural productivity are the most effective means of poverty reduction, especially for people living on, say, a dollar or two a day. The growth in agricultural productivity brings at least two benefits. First, real incomes from farming employment can be higher, and second, food is much cheaper and easier to get. Agricultural revolutions are in fact the precursors of industrial revolutions. The Industrial Revolution in England in the 18th century was preceded by significant advances in agricultural productivity. The success stories of economic development in the 20th century were again preceded by advances in agricultural productivity. Agriculture is a base upon which an economy can build further growth. Furthermore, simply having enough to eat brings many indirect benefits. For instance, imagine a child going to school hungry. The child probably will not learn very effectively. Imagine a child growing up hungry. The child will be more prone to diseases. The story of economic development is, in large part, a story of cheap and readily available foodstuffs. To read more on some of these points, look at this reference or Google Agriculture Poverty Reduction.